The Cincinnati Bengals have drafted 66 first-round players since their first draft in 1968. But surprisingly enough, the Bengals have only had the 18th overall pick twice in history before. New York, where Cincinnati is making their selection. Now, so the Bengals not wasting much time here, like Isaac Curtis running for the end zone. Let's see. The Cincinnati Bengals have selected Alfred Williams, linebacker from Colorado. Next up is Green Bay on its trade from Philadelphia. All right, so the Cincinnati Bengals have taken Alfred Williams, another up-down guy from Colorado. That's the second uh, Colorado player gone. Uh... The first one was back in the 1991 NFL draft where the Bengals took a linebacker out of Colorado named Alfred Williams. Alfred Hamilton Williams, or some, as some called him, Big Al, Hot Plate, or the Condor, was born in Houston, Texas in November of 1968. Alfred started his career at Jesse Ace Jones High School in Houston, Texas, where he played linebacker before continuing his career at the University of Colorado. At Colorado, Williams truly took off, not only racking up 263 tackles in 35 sacks, but also being the captain of a team that would go on to win the national championship. This amazing collegiate career can be summed up with some major awards. Alfred was the unanimous All-American in 1990, a consensus All-American in 1989, and the Dick Buckus Award winner in 1990. In 2010, he was elected into the College Football Hall of Fame. This made it a no-brainer for the Bengals to take him at the number 18th overall pick back in the 1991 NFL Draft. Alfred was the second linebacker off the board, the first being Huey Richardson, who was drafted by the Steelers, and to sum up his career, he played one year with the Steelers, playing only five games before leaving the Steelers to join the Jets and Commanders before then quitting football. Now, while Alfred's career with the Bengals was short, only lasting four years, he still left a mark with the Bengals. In his four years with the Bengals, Alfred racked up 26 and a half sacks, 149 solo tackles in his 63 games with the club. Now, his career would start to take off once he did go ahead and leave the Bengals. Um, he spent one year with the 49ers in 1995 before was before spending the rest of his career with the Denver Broncos. In 1996, Alfred came in third for the final voting for the Defensive Player of the Year. He still works with the Broncos organization today. They can get the second corner, they can get the second safety, they can get a linebacker, which I, I really don't think they're going to go there because they've got the kid they got in the supplemental draft in the third round, Ahmad Brooks. So they, they can go in a couple different directions. But remember, Allen Branch, the defensive tackle from Michigan that's sliding, is as clean a kid as you'll ever see off the field. So I think it's either Branch, Hall, or the number two safety in their opinion, which could be Nelson Merriweather or Griffin. With the 18th pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Leon Hall, cornerback, Michigan. See, I was wrong. It's, you don't need phonetics for Leon Hall. <laughs> now that's an yeah. easy one. And he's a technician. Great feet. Tremendous change of direction. He's a what I call a safe corner, both on and off the field. The drive, the change of direction, the break up, the slant. Gets his hands on the receiver. Now he uses his body to get him up against the sideline. There's no place to deliver the football. Against Jarrett at USC. Watch what happens. Combination coverage, corner and safety. Jarrett, who runs 4-6-7, ran right by Leon Hall. The second and last time the Bengals had the 18th overall pick was back in 2007, when they took fan favorite Leon Hall from Michigan. Leon, I'm going to butcher his name, Last Lazaza Hall, I apologize if I butchered his name, was born in Oceanside, California. He attended Visa High School where he played wide receiver and defensive back. He also played in the 2003 U.S. Army All-American Bowl. After high school, he continued his career at the University of Michigan. He, in his four years at Michigan, Hall racked up 12 interceptions, 3 sacks, and 106 total tackles. Surprisingly, though, he only actually had one pick six in a total of 50 games. 
After his final year in Michigan, he was ready to continue his career in the NFL. Now, the 2007 NFL Draft truly was a special one. This draft included Hall of Famers as Patrick Willis, Jarrell Revis, Calvin Johnson, Joe Thomas, and future Hall of Famers with Adrian Peterson and Marshawn Lynch. So after the first two defensive backs that were taken off the board, them being Lon Landry and Darrell Revis, it was time for the Bengals to take their own defensive back in Leon Hall. The rest of the defensive backs that were taken in the first round after Leon Hall included Michael Griffin, Aaron Ross, Reggie Nelson, and Brandon Merriweather. Now, unlike Alfred, Hall played a long career with the Bengals, totaling nine years with them. In his nine years with the Bengals, he had 26 interceptions, 367 solo tackles, and three pick sixes. After his time with the Bengals, he would spend the rest of his career with three separate teams, them being the Giants, the 49ers, and the Raiders, before finally retiring on his 35th birthday in 2018. In conclusion, we do not know who the Bengals are going to take with the 18th overall pick this year. Whether that is Johnny Newton, Byron Murphy, or the opposite side of the ball, and they go with J.C. Latham, Fuaga, whoever, we know one thing. Duke Tobin, he got something up his sleeve. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.